Welcome to another Monero video tutorial. Um, drinking coffee this time, so there's that. <clears throat> so, what am I doing today? Well, what if you have all your Monero on my Monero and you're tired of my Monero not working the way you want to, or you truly want to? free yourself from centralized services completely. So, first you'll log in to My Monero, and I think I won the lottery again by getting bacon in a word seed. Oh, I'm going to log in to My Monero. And we're in there. And we're going to go up to account, go to account details. You're going to copy all this stuff. You can do that by clicking this, that'll copy to the keyboard. And then you want to make a thing in notepad and put address. Then you want to copy your view key. View, and then you want to copy your spend key. Spend. You could also do this just by, you know, double clicking and copy. But these little buttons make it handy. <clears throat> okay. Okay, thanks. And we have so much money in this account. Um. So now that you have those keys, you want to go to your Monero folder, and I'm assuming you have um, Monero already downloaded, like we did in the other video. Um, so again, go up here and type in CMD. So again, what we did there is went to our Monero download folder, <coughs> and clicked up here, typed in CMD. This takes us to the command line. Uh, for our Monero folder. This stupid thing can't get big. I don't know why. Alright, so now we do the good old simple wallet.exe double, double thing help. Come on. No, that's not good. Where'd you go? There you go. Alright, so what we're going to use today are the generate from private keys. Arg. So, what we're going to do is type simple wallet.exe and generate from keys and then enter the name of your new wallet, what you want to call this. So, we can call it my Monero import.bin. And then um, you can connect to a remote node using the daemon host, or if you have um, your own local node running, like if you double clicked BitMonero first and had it synced, you could just hit enter and and use this. But I don't have I don't have a local node on my computer. I have one downstairs, so. Daemon host 191. So that's my daemon, but uh, you could use a remote node like we did before. I forget where the IP was. So <clears throat> we hit enter, and we're going to make a new password for this new wallet. And then we go back to our notepad where we uh, copy the stuff from my Monero. Double click copy and go back to here and paste hit enter spend key copy and paste view key copy and paste 
um, there we have our wallet. So, um, the reason I sent money to the wallet was to uh, show you that indeed it worked. But, this damn thing takes forever to sync, so here's, here's when I started a while ago, an hour ago, and, you know, I'm still, I'm still only not even at 100,000, so, um, so, I mean, for all intents and purposes, and for all intents and porpoises, um, you now have your My Monero wallet on your local computer um, yeah so at this point you would just hit refresh and yeah this is gonna start from scratch and there we go but I don't care so I'm gonna control C it Let's see. there we go now you might be like oh my god but you know what if how can I mess this up I mean this is so so leet, so hacker. Well, let's see what would happen if you tried to mess it up. My Monero meta dot bin. Okay, so we're gonna make. Like, well, what if, what if I copy my address wrong or I added to the end of it? Look at the frogs. What happens? I don't know. Let's see. Oh, got the part out of it. Okay. Oh. Uh, let's try something. Let's try something more serious. Like you uh, miss one thing. Okay. Oh. Okay. <clears throat> what was that? A six we took off. Yeah. So let's let's get this back there. Now it's you know the fancier things are your oh that's that's not what I wanted to do. <laughs> oh dear. Okay, so maybe your spend key had some extra characters added to it somehow. Come on. Oh, failed to parse it. So you really you really can't mess up. Um, you know, the program will check to see that the things you're entering are correct. Um, so that is how to get your address off of My Monero and onto uh, your computer. And, you know, remember the important thing is that wherever you have your keys you have your Monero. Your Monero are not stored in your wallet file. They're in the blockchain. And all you need is your keys to access your Monero in the blockchain. Simple Wallet is a client that allows you to access the blockchain and unlock the Monero that is yours using your keys. That's just like my Monero is also a client that accesses the blockchain and uses your keys to unlock it. My Monero just does it in a web browser and it uses a centralized server, the hosted node. Um, you know, that's off somewhere else getting, getting used a lot. So, but all it's doing on their end is accessing the blockchain with your keys. But it's your keys are encrypted on my Monero and Yeah. But here we just have your keys. I might get some flack for explaining my Monero there. Ah oh, whatever. Point is you have your keys here too on my Monero, you have your keys here on Symbol Wallet. But now, because you have your keys on Simple Wallet on your computer, <coughs> you can now access your own local blockchain and not rely on a third party. So, 
that is how to free yourself from all of the centralized things. So, yep, that's it. Good luck.